All right, so we're starting today off downtown. We're at 277 Queen Street West. We just wrapped up a little photo video shoot with my network, Much, and uh, we are going to be going on a small little adventure downtown today. We have a few places to hit up. We have the Toronto Eden Center with the Foot Lockers and the Foot Action. And today we're going to Foot Lockers around the downtown core because the Yeezy raffle for the Sesames is happening today and it happened yesterday as well. So I feel like I don't really have to enter this raffle considering how many zebras were released last week. So this shouldn't be that hard, but just in case you know, I got to secure my pair so I can get them for the review for you guys. So we're gonna do that. And then after that, we're gonna go to Foot Action where I saw a picture online. I think the, uh, the page Sneaker Huntings on Instagram put out this photo and it's the Alpha Edge 4Ds sitting at Foot Action. These $450 sneakers, these 4D printed sneakers are available to buy and I wanna get my hands on my first pair of 4D sneakers. So I know it's expensive, that's like basically half my rent, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go try and get them anyways and let's get today started. Now we're heading over to Livestock first. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is at the very end of the video today, I'm actually gonna show you guys a brand new pickup I got. It might be something from today, but it might be also something I got from a brand yesterday or earlier this week. So stick around to the very end of the video so you guys can see what heat I picked up. We're going over to Livestock right now and I actually bought some stuff early at that store online because they had a special Black Friday VIP online thing. I'm a part of their like email newsletter so I was able to get access to it. And they had some really good sales for like up to 70% off. So I spent $500 on stuff and I'm actually gonna be giving away some of the stuff to you guys as well. So. I'm excited. I got a lot of really like good sneakers for cheap, man, for dirt cheap. So, who actually, there's a full locker right here. I'm gonna go see if there's a Yeezy raffle inside and then we'll make our way over to Livestock. I was wondering if you guys were doing the uh, Yeezy Sesame raffle here? No? Okay. Foot Action Eden Center, Foot Locker Eden Center, uh, Livestock. And the Adidas store. Now, one store I forgot about that they have on Queen Street is the Adidas store. Let's check on the Adidas store on Queen Street for this easy raffle hunt. All right, so I just asked an employee if they have the easy raffle here, and they don't have it here. They're going to do it on the Adidas confirmed app, but there's some Yeezy sitting in the store. So I'll show them to you guys in a second, but let me show you guys the other sneakers that they have on the wall. So here's a look at the back wall. We got the Adidas Silvakov and these two new colors. They got the pink and black here. They got this cool like olive ivory colorway. They got so many colorways of the Adidas Kamada. Now I'm not really a fan of the Kamada. I really don't like the, uh, the outsole. It just looks really, really weird. I know they're releasing a Majin Buu collaboration for the uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not a fan of that. And then they have all of the Pharrell NMD uh, hues right here, the tennis hues, the new pack. Pretty cool. I really like this colorway. And then this colorway is straight fire as well. I'm a really, really big fan of these. The Adidas 9118s. I have to give these a shot. You guys know I love the 9317, so I'm sure I like these. And they have them in quite a few colorways as well, so I might have to uh, try and snag a pair soon. So we're about to buy the uh, the Zebras, and I bumped into a subscriber, Michael, in the back. Check out what's he got on feet. These right here. Are these the Vapor Max 2s? Yeah. These, are, actually these zebra are fresh. Too. The Zebras. Michael has the Zebra Vapor Max from Nike. That's crazy. I had no idea they made like a zebra colorway for the vapor max there they are there's the zebras right in between bam and then they got the 700s too so they only have size 8 for the zebras so i'm gonna grab one of those for a potential giveaway or just to you know have so we're grabbing the uh the size 8 yeezys right here and there's the zebras just chilling in the back as you guys can see they got the 700s as well they don't have my size for the zebras here so it's gonna have to be a size 8 but the 700s the employees are gonna check the back and see if we can get those in my size and voila just finished up at the adidas store i picked up the uh, two yeezys i'm so shocked that they still had the yeezys sitting well after a week since they've dropped that's been a week and a half and they still have one more size 8 left of the zebra yeezys so if you're watching this Go ASAP or call the store, see if they still have a pair left. 700s are in this bag right here. I'm not even a big fan of the 700s, but this will be one of the first like chances I'll get to buy them for retail. So I bought them for retail, gonna give them a shot, gonna give them a review. And if I don't like them, and I'm not really that big of a fan of the colorway, I'm probably gonna have to just resell them for retail to somebody because all these Yeezys are final sale at the Adidas store. They don't want to deal with the hassle of any failed resellers trying to return them back to the store. Never been shit, never had 
shit, never knew shit, never out, never do shit down. But it never been shit, never had shit, never knew shit, never out, never do shit down. But never been shit, never had shit. So here's a look at Livestock Spadina. This is one of my favorite sneaker boutiques in Canada and in Toronto. It did appear on my list for my top six stores. If you guys want to see that video for my top six sneaker stores, I'll leave it linked in the description down below or as a card on the top right hand of the corner. Top right hand of the corner, top right of the screen right now. But here's a look at some of the sneakers that they had. Pretty cool. They had the undefeated Ultra Boost. They have the Ultra Boost 1.0s, which is like rainbow knit. And then they have the blue one as well. And these Y3s, I want these Y3s. They look like some alien ninja fusion sneaker $550 not happening though that wraps up our time at livestock unfortunately they didn't have my order ready to be picked up yet so I'll have to pick up my Black Friday stuff later this week so if you guys want to see what I picked up for Black Friday subscribe to the channel hit that red button down below and that video will be up very very soon So we just entered the raffle. They have all the uh, the sizes here, and uh, hopefully I can get my another pair of Yeezys. So we're in the Adidas section of the uh, Foot Action right now, and they do have the 4D sneakers, but they only have two sizes left. Alpha Edge 4D sneakers. This is my first time ever actually holding and seeing a uh, an Adidas 4D sneaker in person. It's really cool when you like squish it. It's bouncy. But it's not bouncy like like Adidas Boost. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to feel on feet. That retail price though is crazy. $450. Damn. Just wrapped up at Foot Action and very friendly employees today. One funny thing the employee told me at the Foot Action was people are actually returning their Yeezys to the stores. One of the employees told me that there's like just these flop resellers who, who weren't able to resell their pairs. So they come back to Foot Action, they return the pairs back to the stores. So that's why some of these stores have them sitting because people are just returning them. Full Locker time, let's enter the Sesame Raffle. So usually at this Full Locker, I'm not able to record, but I was able to for a little bit today. And uh, this is me signing up for the raffle. And here's some of the other sneakers that they had at Full Locker as well. Champion Balenciaga is weird. And here's a new colorway of the uh, Continental 80s. Just wrapped up at Full Locker and I'm gonna go over to Champs to enter the raffle there and then the Full Locker on Young Street. But let me show you guys this crazy sneaker they have on display at Full Locker. This is straight heat and I'm on Honestly surprised it's still sitting on display or on the shelves. They are for sale, I did ask. Rookie of the year, Air Jordan 1. These are so nice. I regret not taking the time to enter raffles because this is probably one of the best releases of the year and I just slept on it. I straight up just slept on it. So here is the raffle information for the, uh, the sesames. And uh, yeah, let's get inside. So here we are entering raffle number three of the day for the Sesame Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. And for everybody else who's also entering these raffles, best of luck to you. Hope you guys take a W and not an L. All right, so we just wrapped up at Champ Sports for the Yeezy raffle. All done. Not too many entries, surprisingly. And I heard that they're going to get similar stock numbers to the Zebras. So I really feel like that uh, you really don't have to enter these raffles, guys. You can just walk in the day of and buy these. That's how big of a general release these Yeezys are going to be. We have one more raffle to enter at Full Locker on Young Street. And I gotta say, entering these raffles have been so easy. No lineups or anything, way different compared to a few years ago. And now, now we head to uh, to Full Locker, the final store on this Yeezy raffle hunt list. Just entered the last raffle today for the Sesame Yeezy 350 V2s. Now we're gonna head home in a second. I'm gonna show you guys a brand new pickup, a new sneaker that I just acquired, or maybe a couple. Uh, but before we go there, I wanna show you guys some of the sneakers that they have here at the Full Locker House of Hoops. The Jordan store, they have these sneakers on display because they're releasing very, very soon. We have this really cool, looks like a woman's exclusive GS Olive Air Jordan 11. And then they have these beautiful, beautiful Air Jordan 12s. 
in this like all red colorway. These are like the red October 12s, essentially a couple years late to the trend, but I still appreciate them. These are straight fire. And I had no idea that these sneakers released. This is an all red Air Jordan 4 with hits of black and a little gum bottom hit on the bottom. Here's a quick look at what they have at the Jordan store. All color coordinated, pretty dope. And then here is the right side of the back wall. These remind me of like the undefeated fours, but this is like a Sons of Mars. So no hype on this release, but I gotta say this is pretty clean for a non-retro Air Jordan. If they released a Jordan 4 like this, I'd have to have, I'd have to buy that like instantly. If you ever get a chance to come to Toronto, I would definitely recommend coming to the Jordan store if you're a sneakerhead. Now one sneaker my friend Tim is on the hunt for is those Fresh Prince Air Fresh Prince Fresh Prince Fresh Prince Air Jordan 5s and uh, they actually have them right behind me, so he asked me to grab him a size. He watched my video the other day where I was showing you guys the top 10 sneakers at this store. So let me go see if they have a size. They're really nice, I gotta say, but oh, that's some bad creasing right there. But they're just, I need laces, man. And check this out. This is the, the insole for the Air Jordan 5 Fresh Prince. Pretty cool. Hey, it's pretty good. I was wondering if you guys had these in a size 10.5. Uh, I can check. Okay. And besides the kicks in the store, I think my favorite thing has to be the couches, the chairs here. If you come with a friend who doesn't care about sneakers, you come with your girlfriend, or you just come with someone who doesn't, you know, care, they don't appreciate the finer things in life, then they can sit down and use some nice, nice, like, leather couches. I feel like I could just, oh, I could take a nap right here. This is cozy. Oh my gosh, these are so nice, so nice. Just a shame they don't have the release with the laces on because I'd have to buy those. But Tim, Tim has been hunting for these for a while. They're sold out in Texas. So I got you covered, bro. Yeah, thank you. So we made it back home and now I'm gonna show you guys today's sneaker pickup unboxing and it's from the good people over at Adidas. Thank you Adidas, I love you. And one thing before we get to the uh, the sneakers, if you did make it to this far in the video, comment down below if you are going to try and buy the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Sesames. If, did you enter any raffles or are you gonna try and buy it the morning of or the day of or are you just gonna pass on them? Let me know your thoughts on these new Yeezys coming out and if you have any interest in buying them. With that said, if I do end up with multiple multiple like extra pairs and you guys want to get them for free or buy them for retail um, I'll see what I can do I'll try and do a giveaway for them but we're gonna be doing a zebra giveaway with the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 zebras in December so subscribe now so you don't miss that giveaway and let's see if we can get a thousand thumbs up on this video if we do that will encourage me to do more hype sneaker release uh, giveaways so hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff also thank you to D face for sending over this awesome sweater I was wearing it all day today and I got a bunch of compliments. So uh, yeah, D-Face Toronto, D-Face Streetwear, I love you. I'll leave them linked in the description down below. They're about to have a crazy nice Black Friday sale. So if you're looking for some dope streetwear that's limited, quality is on point, and it's just gonna go well with a lot of your sneakers, then check out D-Face website. I'll leave their website linked down below. And best of all, you can use my code SNEAKERTALK for 20% off or free shipping. I think it's gonna be free shipping during this Black Friday sale stuff. They're gonna have a big Black Friday sale. But I'll be talking more about D-Face in an upcoming video because they sent over their full collection for the fall winter season and it's heat it's straight up heat so these sneakers these sneakers actually really surprised me i didn't see any like hype or build up to this release until well i never even saw the sneaker until i got them in hand so this is one of those sneakers that i was like just shocked like i was like damn they made these these are fire these are the pb low 18 kyle lowry pb stands for pro bounce and this is like a kyle lowry special edition sneaker this is this is really cool adidas you guys nailed it on this release i love this crazy all over print on the midsole right here we got this really awesome like this golden chrome there's like a little sticker right here to tell you it's going to be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet but let me get rid of that and then i can show you guys what it really really looks like with that sticker out of the oh that looks so nice so it reminds me of the gold metal pack ultra boost these sneakers on the screen but it's right at the midsole right there we have a cool little like camouflage print here on the back as well really really dope and then uh here's a look at the inside it's not as loud as the outside right here and then the bottom 
The bottom is really, really cool as well. I'm a huge fan of this bottom. Just overall, a really, really cool sneaker. Thank you, Adidas, for sending these over. These are selling very fast. I think these are almost sold out on the Adidas website. I think there's just a size 10.5 on the Adidas website. So I'll leave links in the description down below to buy these if you guys want to try and buy them. And uh, yeah, these are fire. These are straight fire. Thank you, Adidas, for sending over these limited basketball sneakers right here. Now, I don't know if I'll be playing basketball anytime soon. Maybe in the Philippines, going to the Philippines um, in a couple of weeks, but yeah, they killed it. They killed the details on these shoes on point. You got the Adidas branding right there on the tongue. We've got some Kyle Lowry branding as well. And if you guys want to see a full review for these sneakers, then subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. And uh, yeah, if you did make it to the very, very, very end of the video, let me know what you think about these Kyle Lowry Adidas sneakers. Comment KLW if you think it's a win, if this is a dope sneaker, or comment KLL if you do not think these are a dope sneaker. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with these Yeezys coming up. And uh, yeah, Yeezys were sitting a week and a half after the release. I wonder what it's gonna be like for the Sesame's. I'll catch you guys later. Oh.